In the previous video in this series, I set up the fluid flow simulation for a high pressure nozzles geometry using ANSYS AIM. In this video, I will show you how to use AIM to optimize the nozzles geometry to maximize its wall shear. Now that the solution has reached convergence, I can analyze the results. I will start by inserting a contour plot describing the wall shear at the bottom face. Notice that AIM automatically generates a summary of this contour, showing the minimum, maximum, and average values of the wall shear at the surface. For the upcoming optimization process, I must parameterize the average wall shear. In preparation for this portion of the demonstration, I set three geometric dimensions as input parameters. For this case, I have parameterized the radius of the exit barrel, the radius of the exit tip, and the radii of the entrainment holes. With my input parameters designated, I can start the optimization process in the project schematic by adding a response surface system. In the Design of Experiments tab, I can set the lower and upper bounds of each variable. I will change the lower and upper bounds of the barrel radius to 1.5 and 2.6 millimeters, respectively. The exit radius may vary between 1.5 and 4.3 millimeters. Finally, the radius of the entrainment holes may vary between 1.8 to 2.6 millimeters. When I select Preview, Design of Experiments generates test points according to the ranges I set. In this case, 15 design points are created. Now I can update the calculation and generate a solution at each design point. We now have results describing the wall shear produced by different nozzle geometries. Our goal is to find the geometry that will maximize the effectiveness of the nozzle by maximizing its average wall shear. Using data from these design points, the response surface system can interpolate a geometry with a maximum shear. In the response surface tab, I can view plots showing how the average shear varies with each input parameter. I may also view plots showing the sensitivity of the wall shear variable to changes in the input variables. The response surface cell collects data which can be used to interpolate a true maximum in the optimization tab. In the optimization tab, I will set my target to maximize the average wall shear. When I click update, the optimization system quickly determines a set of candidate points on the response surface that may operate at the maximum flow rate. I can further analyze these candidates to determine whether a maximum was truly found via this interpolation. This concludes this demonstration showing you how to prepare, simulate, and optimize a nozzle's geometry using ANSYS AIM.